Hello there, I'm Helen Sadler, your Destiny Helper, coming to you once again as always. I enjoy spending time with you and thank you so much. Those of you who are sending your email and commenting on the video, I want you to know that I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for the time that we spend together on these videos. And for our new subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm glad the information is there for you. Keep emailing, keep writing, and those of you who have not subscribed, consider subscribing to this email, uh, to this uh, program. And you will find that when the topics are uploaded, you will know first. If there's any event, you will know first. Thank you so much, my YouTube family. Once again, many of you are emailing me. I did a video on the silent narcissist when the narcissist is reviving or when the narcissist is resuscitating because the narcissist use energy therefore they need energy and when they get energy through supply a lot of times the narcissist have more than one supply especially when you have your serial cheaters they need an, a lot of energy in order to capture the attention of that supply and to mesmerize that supply but many of you saying, well, I don't think that's the kind of treatment that I'm getting. However, my narcissists do go silent and they ghost me. Two different videos. I would like to do the video on the manipulative narcissist using silence to break down a prime supply or any supply. The narcissist is a manipulator. They are controllers, and they have to have the advantage always. The narcissists hate to lose. The narcissists hate rejection, and the narcissists hate to be injured. So the narcissists use silence to get their way. They have to dominate, especially if there's something that you're dependent on the narcissist to do. Oh, it's really terrible when the narcissist is the only one that can do it. Sometimes the narcissist want to take control of the finances so they can take control over how the money goes. Even if both of you are working, the narcissist is insistent that they handle the money. So a lot of times what you will find is there's not a reporting of everything that comes in. And some narcissists have no idea what the supply is making unless they make a demand. And most uh, uh, supply knows not to give all of that to the narcissist. So they hold back and they bring home consistently a certain amount of money. And the narcissist think that that's the money that the supply is making unless they make a demand to see the pay stub of the individual working. So the narcissist take uh, control of the money. The narcissist may want to take control of the groceries, how much groceries you buy. The narcissist feel that they can uh, have input on that. What you cook, they want to control every aspect of your life. So when you don't do what the narcissist say, they go silent. They call you to disappear. The narcissist can discard you in the house, like the narcissist can hoover you in the house, which is another video. Because when we talk on subject matters, I like to, if I can, stick to that content and make that content the subject of that video. Because many of you are going through it. And the narcissist can't get their way, they grow silent. And when they grow silent, you become uh, invisible. And so that in causing you to disappear. And when you disappear, they will not acknowledge you. And when they do not acknowledge you, you feel devalued, you feel unimportant, you feel that you don't matter. And what the narcissist does is make sure you do not matter. Well, when you love someone, you want to communicate with them, you want to spend time with them. So you do not want the narcissist to ignore you because that is rejection. And if the narcissist know that you talk to them at the beginning of the relationship of how you hate rejection, because remember the narcissist was very attentive 
to your every whim. And at the beginning of the relationship, people think it's all about the narcissist. In the beginning of the relationship, it's all about you. It's all about the supply. It's all about them giving you the attention because everything and all the information that they're getting is going to be held and used against you as the relationship commences. And so when the narcissist is silent, the narcissist is manipulating. You can talk to the narcissist. The narcissist is communicating with everyone else except you. The narcissist will acknowledge the children, but will not acknowledge you. And so the narcissist, and the only time they acknowledge you is when they want something. And they'll ask you about a bill. They'll ask you about food. And they know that you are hurting. They know that you are craving their attention. You are craving to be with them. You want so bad just a little of attention, a little of acknowledgement, and you find yourself doing extra things, you know, trying to uh, say extra, you're trying to do extra, and they notice these things. One thing about a narcissist, a narcissist is very, very attentive. They notice your disposition. They notice your eye movement. They notice your breathing. The narcissist is very, very attentive. What you neglect, the narcissist does not because that will be used and held against you. They want to know your breathing uh, canum, uh, rhythm. They want to know how you're moving. They want to know what you're taking interest in. And when they feel that you're taking that extra interest, the narcissists really intensify that silence because now it's not them reviving. It's not them re-energizing. Now it's them manipulating. It's them controlling. It's them devaluing who you are because the narcissists know when you really care for someone, they know what the silent treatment does. They know how powerful the silent treatment is and they know that you would do anything not to frustrate the situation. You, They come home and you cook their favorite food. When you are in, when the narcissist is in a discard devaluation mode, there's nothing you can do that would trigger them to turn back on. They do that. And this, this vow goes off in them. And you notice that instantaneously, it seemed like you just cut off. And you don't know what you've done. You don't know what has happened. And then they go silent on you. The narcissist will even play games with your mind. You'll get in the bed and it's time to go to sleep. The narcissist will even turn on to you and, and have sex with you because it's not making love. He will have sex with you. She will have sex with you and then get up, turn over or get up and go to the couch or get up and take a shower and move. To take and divide the bed and move the cover and won't let you touch them. And when you touch them, they get up and they're angry and they're yelling, they're hollering. And so it's not a time where they are not, uh, they're in a neutral zone. They are very active. They're very active in what you do. They're very active in getting you to react and to get you not to respond because you're not responding. You're reacting because you're at an emotional intensity. You're at an emotional emotional hype, trying to get them. And you thought yielding to them, wanted to have sex with you, would do it. It made it worse. They are worse. So now you feel like a garbage can and they want you to feel that. This is disturbing. And the more doing the silent treatment of discard, and that's just discard in the house, the narcissist may even come home. You don't usually get them to come home. When they get angry, they stay away. And then they make up excuses why they didn't come home. Now they're coming home and they're doing things, the things that you will want them to do when the relationship is just fine. They're doing that, but they pay you no attention. And so this is a time for you to revive. This is a time for you to resuscitate. This is a time for you to recharge, you to regear, because the narcissist is going to do everything in their power to frustrate the situation, to make sure you are 
doused in every situation. There and everything you do, you cannot do anything right. You can't wash clothes right. You cannot wash dishes right. You can't pay the bill. The narcissist may say, well, we receive that we have a return check. And you want to see the return check, but they don't let you see it. And you go to the bank and found out there are no return check. You confront the narcissist. And then the narcissist say, how dare you go behind my back and check up on me like I'm some child? Because nothing in this instance matters. Because remember, in the narcissist, you are invisible. And so the narcissist manipulate because maybe before this silent treatment, you challenge them on a matter. You challenge them on a check. You challenge them how they liked this one minute and hated the next minute. Or they're saying something about the children or they got this golden child, the scapegoat. So you challenge them. And so the narcissist has to train you, never challenge me, never question me. And when that narcissist know that you love them and what happened before the silent treatment, they do the internal love bombing. And remember, all throughout the relationship, you are receiving the love bomb of the narcissist. And they have learned you in detail and know you in detail. And they know how to turn it on. They've learned your weakness. And if there's something they're in question about, because the narcissist is intentional. And when they go to the silent treatment, a lot of time it looked like it happened overnight. But if you look back over the situation, the narcissist was leading up to it. He was leaving up to devaluation. He would challenge everything. He would say, you don't care. And there were conversation that would come out and you're wondering, where did this come from? Why would you say that? Why did you ask me that? I've never opposed you. Everything you wanted me to do, I have done that. And the narcissist would question that, knowing that you have been totally loyal, totally faithful. They wouldn't even say that you have been disloyal. You came home late. When you never did. That's gaslighting. The narcissist will make sure you know that whatever you said is not true until now you have started to challenge your own words and they're silent. It is an awkward silence. The house is heavy and sometimes it can feel cold, so cold. And one day you look across the room. And the narcissist is not talking. And you see this stare that I often mention in many videos because a lot of things can bring out this black eyed stare. And when they look at you, it seems like the temperature of the room on a summer hot 101 degrees day. That room is cold. It feels ice cold emotionally. And you feel uncomfortable. You feel the hatred of the narcissist. During the silent treatment, you disappear. And they discard you. And finally, the narcissist get what they want. Because you break down. You break down and you cry. And you say you can't take it anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. If you don't want me, I'm leaving. I'm going to my mom's house. I'm going to my neighbor's house. And what the narcissist did, boom. All of a sudden, it's love bombing. The narcissist would tell you, hey, I just wanted you to know my feelings. I wanted you to know that I can feel. I wanted you to know that you should consider me. And you're like, how did I not consider you? I don't even know what I did wrong. And the narcissist says, see, you don't know what you did wrong. Surely you're going to do that again. You challenge me. And you say, how did I challenge you? You challenge me with the kids. You challenge me with the money. You challenge me going out. You challenge me when I told you I needed to think. And I just needed a day or a couple of days to think. You challenge me. You accuse me of cheating. And I haven't cheated since we've been in this marriage, which you know is not true. And so the narcissist turned everything because it's an item of control and it's an item of manipulation. And they use 
in the training to train your mind not to challenge them, not to say anything. And before you know it, you're forgiving and you're walking on ice. The narcissist is doing things, sometimes intentional, to see if the training in that silent moment worked for them. And then they would challenge you and they would challenge you back to silence. And you will go express to others what you want to express to the narcissist. And you find out the more they get away with, the more they want to get away with. And it did not work. You collaborating with the narcissist's desire did not work. Their intent did not work because now that the narcissist has have has had their way, now they consider you as weak. And then what the narcissist say, you disgust me. And you're like, what? I'm doing everything I can. And guess what? Another silent treatment because you challenge them again. This is a perpetual cycle. And if you don't break it by disallowing this behavior, you can expect this to be their behavior throughout the relationship. Except now the narcissist is not just silent. They can go for a week. And where they told you they were, you can't even find that. You show up and say, I'm, just to say, I'm sorry, they're not even there. And then the narcissist come back home and say, I was there. I just, you said, no, they said you wasn't even registered. I told them to say that because I didn't want to see you. And so here you go into another cycle. There is the, the silence because the drained narcissist has to resuscitate. And there is the silence because the narcissist want to manipulate and the control factors start to come in. And they use rejection and abandonment. They abandon you by making you think that you do not matter. And they cause you to be invisible. And you expend your energy trying to please someone who's made up in their mind that nothing you do would be acceptable. It's time for you to revive. It's time for you to recognize that you are so awesome, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Take advantage, especially when those of you that have long-term relationship, you know the cycle. How many times have you been through this? How many times you done walked around this place before? And you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it doesn't work for him. It doesn't work for her. It empowers them and it disempowers you. You find yourself on the other side of defeat while they're gaining more control. Your mind is a terrible thing to waste. So don't. Feed it. Grow it. Build it. A built up mind is the fear of the narcissist because in your soul is your emotion. And when they can't, they depend on your emotions. And the narcissist would do anything to get that emotional reaction out of you. When you break down and cry, they get worse. Because the narcissist doesn't have the compassion, the propensity to care. They don't have that available to them. And when they do, you better believe there's something in it for them. Silence to control. Yes. So when they go silent to control you, you get busy to make sure they don't. And the only way you can do that is to build what they want to weaken. And that's your mind and your emotion and to break down your will. Don't let it happen. Remember, you have been reinstated. You have been empowered. You can be reinstated by what you've been through all of that time. And when they go to the silent treatment, take advantage. You build a cycle of advantages while they try to build a cycle of disadvantage. Turn it around. You can always win because living with a narcissist can be quite difficult. So every opportunity you have and you are still there, take advantage of it. Those of you who has been discarded 
or you have, you're free. The narcissist will use this silent treatment to take advantage of you in court, to take advantage with the children, visitation right, whatever the parenting agreement is, the narcissist will come in and do the opposite and then blame you for it. And you got to remember, bill yourself. When you are divorcing the narcissist or you're away from the narcissist, the only commonality is, you deal, <clears throat> is the children. Don't let the narcissist get you into emotional discrepancies where they're getting you to react because the narcissist feel that once you are with them, you're always their property. That's why you're known as supply. You only have a function to care for them, to give them attention. So the narcissist and in, uh, with a divorce would extend the divorce and they will be silent. You don't hear it anything from them. You are telling them about court and they doesn't comply. You have a parenting plan. They don't uh, uh, comply. You have a financial agreement. They don't comply because the narcissist is silent. And when the law is in force, you hear from them and then they blame you. I tried to get the kids and she wouldn't let me. And then you said, no, you never tried to get the kid. Make a log of everything when you have been discarded or when you are free. Keep a log on your phone. Don't erase all of the text messages. Keep evidence that the courts can have facts and not presumption. Because your word means nothing if you can't back it up. The narcissist will use that silence to bring you into submission. They will promise not to give you money, promise not to do things, so you can submit and surrender to them out of fear. That's why you have to build your mind because silence can be used as a place of control. Well, you get your control back and you get your power back. The narcissist hate rejection and the narcissist can stand strength, the strength of you because it injures the narcissist. So when the narcissist goes silent for control, you make sure that they don't get it. You keep what belongs to you, and that's you. God blessed you with that. Well, I hope this video has answered some questions. This is a subject that is endless. There's so much involved with just so much time. Write me and let me know how this uh, video has blessed you and if it has answered some of your questions. You can't win the silent treatment because it's about control. And the narcissist want all of that. So if you're trying to win, remember you are invisible. You have been, it's a form of discard, but it's discard in the house. And then when the narcissist wants you invisible, some of them will even leave and you'll text them, you'll call them, you'll email them, no response. And when the narcissist can sense your frustration, they pop up out of the blue and act like nothing never happened. And the moment you talk about it, word salad and manipulation comes in. Write me, destinyhepper12s at gmail.com. Destinyhepper12s at gmail.com. Let me know where you are in the silent treatment. Let me know what you did when it came to your port. How you rebuild, how you shield, how you defend yourself. And those of you who feel like it's a lost cause, I don't know what to do. I am so torn because nothing works. Why don't you write me and, let, and take this video and listen to it over and over and over and over again. I promise you, you're going to learn how to take what the narcissist has made a disadvantage and use it for your advantage because the power for you can come forth in that extraordinary work way. You are more powerful than what you know. Let's bring it to the forefront. I am Helen Sadler, your destiny helper. Those of you who are not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And those of you who have, just make sure you keep listening to this video. Power belongs to you. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video.